Hey everyone, it's Mir with World Base Building. We're back with an ESL base by Bomber, and we got a defense right now against Esteban from Renegados with Queen Charge Lalo. We're gonna start with an Ice Golem, two Head Enters, couple Loons, and a Blimp. I assume we're gonna be trying to take out this Expo, this Multi, and pull the CC. Okay, we have a Rage for this Yeti Bomb. Should be able to take all that out pretty easily. Looks like we had a stall CC, two Ice Golem, 20 Arch. And it looks like Esteban wants to push his queen towards that town hall. Now, with this base, we have the Envy Rage. We have a very front end heavy spell tower comp. And so that's kind of good against Root Rider spam. And that also makes those queen charges into the town hall tricky. Hence why Esteban's coming in from kind of an angle and funneling with that blip. Now, in terms of the wall comp at the town hall, it looks like it's going to be a very, very big pain to get that queen into the town hall. He's going to have to actually push that queen through this first bow and wrap her in around the second bow. So I'd assume he's going to be putting that king around 3 o'clock, along with maybe a sneaky on that elixir collector, just to funnel that queen into the town hall. But that will put his healers in danger of the town hall. So hop the freeze and pop that queen ability if I had to guess, or just rage and freeze. But it looks like he didn't bring a haste on this attack, it's very interesting. A 5 rage lalo, which is, I mean, it's not bad. It can be very strong because it just allows you to have another spell space for that queen charge at worst case, especially against a rage comp like this. He's got to have a head under for the queen, but unfortunately he dies to that rage multi. And I don't think he's going to need another rage after this, because that multi archer tower is going to kind of split that damage. The queen almost goes down because of the evil though, has to use the invisibility spell. That's going to uh, take away all the damage on the queen, now he probably won't need a rage here. He's only got two rages, two freezes. He's got to use one for the envy tower. I'm assuming he's just going to pop queen ability in that case because he's going to need a couple of spells for that Lalo. <laughs> King ability goes off with the giant gauntlet and we're going to start the Lalo very, very early with a rage, tome, and headhunters at 12. But unfortunately, they're all going to path around that scatter. We do have the rage, uh, the freeze and the queen ability, sorry, for the town hall. And now we just have the rage gem on the warden, which is honestly something I haven't really seen. Tell me if you guys, let me know in the comments if you guys use Rage Gem with Lalo. Because I've tried it, I think like a heal spell probably works better if you're using Rage Gem with Lalo instead of like 5 Rages. I think 4 Rage and a heal would be better. But I mean, everything just passed around this multi, so this is going to be a great defense. Mono targets the RC first, which is beautiful. Looks like we're going to fizzle out probably around the, I don't know, 92, 93%? Yeah, 93, unless the CC goes down. Looks like it won't though. I won't be able to do much, so we're looking at 93% defense for Bomber against Renegados. Big name team right there. We are back with our second attack with Thor from Mancock Esport. Looks like we're using Sarch into Hydra. He's gonna use the Hound for some tanking and use the Blimp on the side angle, try to get Town Hall on this multi, but it is baited with the double Sam. He's gonna have to clone over the wall and risk getting into some traps. Here we are. Let's see, I think that only looked like a giant bomb and a bomb, so unfortunately the Sarch won't die out here. The live and probably take the town hall. Hopefully not the multi or the mono, otherwise that might be too much value. I think bow, multi archer tower, town hall, rage tower, and invis tower shouldn't be too too bad. Just because of having that other multi archer tower and the king and the multi on this back end. I'd assume he's gonna be just spamming from this 12 o'clock side. Okay, we start with king, no phoenix, which is a very interesting choice. Ice golem as well, wall break in. But the issue with starting your kill squad and like pushing into the core is that you're gonna pull the CC. It also looks like we don't have Rage Gem. Uh, I'm not sure what he has. It's Giant Goblin, it looks like Vamp Stash. I might be wrong. And he's gonna start off with this Rage Gem, Hydra Spam, very, very early tome. Against honestly, not really that much DPS. But because he has the King and the Queen and the RC in there, he's gonna pull the CC and that's just gonna slow everything up. Um, yeah, I mean, that mono is about to go to town. There's still two Mario Skulls, not one. He's lost one Dragon Rider. This is the second he's about to lose. Uh, let's see if he loses three. I think he's going to just lose two, but that other one's going to be very, very low. It's going to die off to this multi. We have the Queen from the top side, but she's getting targeted by that Warden, so she might get forced to ability. RC ability goes off to try to take off some of those defenses, especially the multi and the bow. But that RC on the back end is probably going to be too much for these drags. And so it's just going to fizzle out. Depends though. Um, it's going to be a fail obviously, but I'm not sure about the percent just yet. It depends. If the scatter and the RC goes down, then it's probably looking about, I'd say like 80s. Um, just because there's no air defense there. 
and I don't think two Archer Towers and a Wiz Tower is enough to take out a Dragon and a Full Health Warden. Yeah, so we're looking about like 70s, maybe 80, depending on time. It just looks like he's not going to get enough percent because of time. But regardless, a defense is a defense in this meta, and a great one at that because it's only in the 80s at best. We got 81% from Thor. Alright, for our final attack, we have Akash Singh from EVN Esports using Zap, Root Riders, and Titan Smash. Haven't really seen this before, at least a mix between the two. I'd assume, just right off the bat, he's going to be zapping out that mono in the Envy Tower. He does have the blimp selected, so I'm not sure if that's what he's going to run, but if he is, then he's likely just going to blimp the Town Hall and zap out that Envy Tower, so he has no stress about taking out that Town Hall from the side angle. But it does look like everyone's coming in from this queen side. Wall break, a Sui wall break to open up that comp. So it looks like he's going to want to use the king at 12 on that gold mine, kind of funnel the root riders and the titans into the core. And then jump through the core around CC to kind of get to that back end. And just hope there's enough back end troops, or just enough troops remaining for the back end because of that nasty rage comp. We got the Warden Walk still going. Um, should be starting pretty shortly. There we go. We got the Ice Skull and the Queen, a couple of Head Enters, and we have the Titans. Be a little bit patient on the Root Riders. There we go. We'll see if he zaps right about now. Perfect. Okay. I'm surprised he doesn't zap the Builder Huts. Uh, one thing you can do if you're doing zaps is you can split up your zaps, obviously. You just gotta be quick with it. You can place three on the left side, three on the right side, take out both Builder Huts, and that's even better. That'll help you with some funneling. That'll help you with if you're trying to force Slinger on a Town Hall on a different base. But we do have the Tome Blimp going to Town Hall, but the Root Riders and the Warden and the Queen split all to the Town Hall. That's really bad for Akash. And they're all just gonna get stuck up on that Poison and the Rage Comp. And it looks like everything's kind of just fizzling out. The Titans seem to be fine because they're Titans, obviously. Root Riders under the Rage Comp's kind of getting rolled. And um, it looks like that Queen's just gonna die real quick to the King and the Multi. Queen Ability's forced. RC fights RC, but there's Skelly Spell. So that RC is really not gonna get that much. She'll probably get the Scatter, if I had to guess. Uh, she doesn't have Ability, actually. She's not. But that Headhunter's going all the way. Look at that Headhunter go. He's... Oh no. Poor head under. Scatter just starts to target these healers though. The Titan's about to die now because of that. And this is honestly looking like another pretty low percent defense in this meta. Great job by Bomber with the baiting on that. Pathing was just weird and he couldn't really get a good enough push to the back end, I guess. 86%. What a great defense.